Okay, as you can tell by the title of this video, um, it's going to be a Photoshop tutorial on a graffiti effect. I was actually doing a little bit of work yesterday. My brother was asking me to do a few things, and a uh, picture he sent me I thought it would look pretty cool at, uh, graffitied onto a wall. And I sent it back to him, he seemed to like it, so I decided to make a tutorial about it. But uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS4. If you don't have it, it should still be easy to follow along, but uh, it's a basic tool, so as long as you know where they are, it shouldn't be too bad. But all you're going to need for this uh, tutorial is a brick wall and a picture. I'm going to go ahead and use the picture of Brandon Jennings that he sent me. Um, so all you need to do is copy these two pictures into Photoshop. And then uh, copy the picture that you're going to graffiti onto the wall to the picture of the wall and just have it on a layer above it. And then you're going to want to uh, duplicate the, the brick wall layer and set it above the image that you just pasted into it. So brick wall, image, brick wall. Um, to get the graffiti effect is honestly pretty easy. All you have to do is set this top layer to overlay and as you can see it starts to show a little bit of the the wall behind it. Um, but honestly the way, it, the way it is right now it looks too unnatural. It looks like a picture was just plastered onto a wall. The side edges don't really blend into the the wall so you're gonna want to blend that in a little bit. So go ahead and select your eraser tool and choose a brush size of about 200, a soft brush. And I have the opacity set to 100 and flow around 65. And then you're just going to want to select the layer of your image and brush around the sides of this to blend in the edges of the picture into the wall a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's already starting to look a little bit better. Um, if you want to get a smaller brush and handle the top and bottom area so it's not as uh, bright as the edges, it might look a little bit more natural, but I'll go ahead and leave it the way it is right now. And that pretty much does it. Um, depending on the picture, some, some pictures will uh, show the brick wall behind it a little bit more. Or in this case, since Jennings is wearing a white shirt and there's a lot of white in the picture in the uh, in the background up by the train, you can actually select this layer, go to uh, darken, and that sh almost eliminates all of the white in the picture and just shows the wall behind it. So that's a little bit more personal preference. You might like that instead of this. Um, Depending on the picture though, like I said, you just need to experiment with a lot of these effects over here. Depending on the picture, some things are going to look better, some things are going to look worse. And in this case, I think Darken looks the best. But if you like that, like I said, it's just personal preference. So that's how you do a graffiti effect in Photoshop. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment. And the pictures that I use in this will be in the video description if you want to follow along. But that's about all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed it.